Hey there, welcome to day 102 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Horn Nelson here, and we are talking about the fourth step, the P in our SOAP process, which stands for progress. How do we know? How do we know if we are moving toward what we want or not? How do we know we're solving our problem, overcoming our challenge, climbing over an obstacle, whatever it is that we're working on? This month, we're focusing on physical growth as part of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. And progress and we picked a problem right we picked a problem or a story or an area that we wanted to improve with respect to our physical health our physical well-being our physical growth maybe you want to change your environment maybe you want to change your body maybe you want to move more like me and get more exercise and actually you know make the e-word not a four-letter word but a thing that you look forward to and you do for yourself so we've been sharing in guide two of the let's grow annual challenge private facebook group page Tabitha's story throughout this process. She is running through the SOAP framework and applying it to her life in the area of physical growth, just like you are and I am. In my area of physical growth, I did my uh, options yesterday, and I said before I even did it, the head, heart, and intuition tool, that I was already doing the thing that I was going to do because I started it at the beginning of the month. Why? Because I've done this before, and I know when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do that's in my best interest. And for a while, I haven't been going for a morning walk. And I love, love, love my morning walk because it sets a tone for the rest of the day. I get up, I get cleaned up, I create content, and then I go for a walk, and then I come back and I process that content and work with other people throughout the day. And in order to have the right mindset and attitude and come from the right perspective, I want to make sure that I take that morning walk. Uh, it's harder when I travel for some reason. I make it harder on myself. It should be just as easy, but I'm not familiar with the neighborhoods and things and where I am. And so that makes it a little bit less fun to go for a morning walk in places that I'm not familiar with. So sometimes then I'll just go to the health club or do something like that. But how do we know we're making progress? Physically, <clears throat> how do we know? And there's a bunch of different ways we can tell. I'm going to grab a magnifying glass and see if I can see my notes from yesterday. Uh, we could do body measurements. If you're doing physically on your body, you could, could weigh yourself. You could do body measurements. You could do... Uh, progress photos. I don't know. Have you ever done a challenge where you do a before and after photo? I have. I find them very uh, hard to do, right? I don't like before photos ever. And usually the after ones aren't that much different, at least in my experience. Uh, strength and performance metrics. You know, maybe you time how long it takes you to go for a walk or a certain distance every day or run or etc. and track that. Biofeedback. There's all kinds of biofeedback mechanisms now that you can use to track and see how you're doing. You can use fitness trackers, right? I've got a Fitbit sitting right here that is, of course, not charged because I haven't used it for over a year. Uh, I, I burn through Fitbits like nobody's business. Uh, and I don't like that in the summer when I go for a walk, they leave a big old white tan line on my arm. So I think last year I stopped using that one. I should probably charge it up because it is kind of fun just to see how you're doing. But I know now after, you know, 14, 15 years of doing something every day, whether I've done enough or not, I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my body. I can physically feel if I have not done enough. Other things you could do, especially for some more subjective things that are difficult to actually measure, it's pretty easy to step on the scale and write down the number. It's pretty easy to measure your thighs as you know, humiliating as that might be sometimes or whatever other body part you're wanting to keep track of. But for more subjective things, you could keep a journal. You can just take notes on how you're doing and how you're feeling with respect to making progress in the area that you're working on. Uh, you can... You can consistently monitor something. Well, I don't know what that means. I guess I do know what it means. It means keeping track of something every day and monitoring where you're going and if you're going up or down. Now, I don't know about you, but if you've ever been on a weight loss journey, and I've been on several of them in my lifetime, you know it isn't a straight line to success. And that's why I put this little graphic up above my head today because we think when we start something new, when we decide we're going to improve an area or aspect of our life, we're going to decide it, and we're just going to take a straight line up to our goal and succeed. Well, I don't know about you, but my experiences have not been that way. Usually it's up and down, up and down, up and down. Sometimes as as I go totally backwards before I actually have the breakthroughs that I need to achieve the thing that it is that I want. And that's 
that's probably some more accurate representations of the different journeys I've been on in my life, both business, personal, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, all the different areas and aspects of our life. That's pretty much how it goes. We decide we want something and then we start moving toward it. And that's why it's so important to, to know if we're making progress or not, because otherwise, if it's overall progress, are we moving in the direction we want to go? Yes or no? We can ask ourselves that every day. That'd be a form of consistent monitoring. Yes, I'm moving toward it. No, I didn't really move toward it today. I, I had a stall or I hit a plateau or another stumbling block that I need to find a way around over, under, blow up, et cetera. I need to find a way to overcome that thing. And that's more like our journeys are always going to be, right? They're never going to be that straight line from A to B. You know, even with navigation now, because we have navigation, we didn't used to have it when I was growing up. We used maps to read and to get somewhere. You set in your destination, but you don't go like the crow flies, a straight line from point A to point B. You have to follow the roads that are existing to get to where you want to go, to get to your destination. So our action item today is to figure out how are you going to measure, how are you going to know you're making progress toward your physical growth improvement area. From where you are, your current story, to where you want to be, your desired story, how do you know you're filling that gap? That's all we're looking for today. Share in the comments below how you're going to measure it. I'm going to measure mine by a little X mark on my calendar. Either I went for my morning walk or I didn't. And if I didn't do it, I need to write on my calendar why I didn't do it and what I'm going to do to make sure that I do it the next day. Why do I want to do that? Because I want to see if I am using excuses or using different things or trying to let myself off the hook from something I said that was important to me. All right, any questions, you know what to do, hit me up. Guide to Tabitha's story as well as a write-up on progress and different ways to measure things and different ideas around that. Any questions, all you have to do is ask. Have an amazing day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.